Oh, this is awful. I should be out there. I should be out there. <sighs> but I'm sick. <laughs> This is unfair. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> there, there is no need for you to take care of me. I'll be fine. I don't need it. All right. I don't need it. Yeah. Are you... Are you, you still insisting on staying? You're wasting your time here. You, you could be out there, you know. <laughs> you, you could be out there helping the others. But you're stuck here, helping me. That doesn't seem fair. I apologize. <laughs> There's no need to treat me like this. I'm an, I'm an adult. You, you should be with the others. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I hope I haven't caused trouble for you. I I feel... Uh. <laughs> I feel embarrassed, to say the least. Uh. You should be out there. We... We should both be out there. But yet I'm hindered. I'm feeling sick. I was gonna vomit there for a second. I'll come again. I got Yuji. Can't eat a finger and not get sick, but... <sighs> I ate something wrong and I got food poisoning. <laughs> and a cold to boot. What is this? <sighs> Well, I'm glad that you are here. If there's anything good about being sick, it's that you're taking care of me. Uh, 
fun time, lucky. Caught myself as lucky. Oh. Oh. Uh. Why? Why? Uh. Uh. If you get sick, if you get sick, you better, you better prepare, because I'll be the one taking care of you, and you understand, not gonna... I'm not gonna let you go. <laughs> not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Here's it. Here's it. Here's it. Here's it. Go. should go on and help the others. Oh, I can take care of myself. Alright. Don't worry. I will be fine. I'll be fine. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute worst, but I left. Don't worry. Okay. No, please, for me. You can come back and take care of me more later. All right. <coughs> no. Uh, uh, no. Come on. Go ahead. Please. Take me. Take care of me later. All right. I promise. I promise. It'll be fine. Oh, no. Don't kiss me. Well, wouldn't it be such a good idea? I don't want. I don't want to get you sick too. Don't worry. I'll owe you one when I get better. Honey. Welcome home. Wait. Let me... Yeah. Let me grab your back. You know. Wait. I completely forgot something. Um. Honey, I know you're pretty tired and all, but... Could you... Um, just... Go back to the door, please. Yeah, I just, um, forgot about something. Uh, yeah, right there. <clears throat> so, what would my hard-working wife like to have first? A bath? 
dinner or <gasps> me <laughs> okay okay I'll stop you can come in now <laughs> Well, our neighbor recommended me this Korean drama the other day, so I've been learning a few things from there, you can say. Well, the show is pretty terrible, honestly. <laughs> But Mrs. Bella seems to be very much into it. So I thought, why not give it a shot? No, I mean, I do like talking to her every now and then. No, I'm not just talking to her for the cake recipe. I always used to be this chatty with her. Yeah, I used to hate her before she made us a birthday cake. But things have changed since then. Well, for starters, she doesn't watch her cereal with full volume anymore well I guess she did today and yesterday as well and the day before well, well at least she lowers it when I call her now that's an improvement I mean well okay okay I admit it is because of her stupidly delicious cake but I can't help it I mean, you've ate the cake, right? How does someone make such delicious cake out of Oreo and coffee? Like, what? I know, right? I wanted to eat more, but then I had to give the cake to all the guests. And, uh, well, at least when I get the recipe from her, we'll get to eat more of it. Well, she actually, she's not actually that bad, honestly. It's just surprising how easy it is to resolve an issue. If you can just communicate with the other person. And just talking crap about someone behind their back. I know, right? It's almost like how human beings should actually resolve their problems without making a fuss about everything <laughs> well she did say that she's gonna give me the cake recipe tomorrow and also help me around the kitchen so that's very nice of her well speaking of delicious food that makes me take questionable decisions am I wrong or is that a bag from the fancy restaurant that our friend works at oh so I am correct about that so would I also be correct to assume that there's I don't know food in that bag good good now would I also be correct if we're to assume that the food is for ah It is a treat for me. <laughs> How lucky I am to have a caring wife. Like, um, what? <laughs> um, honey, are you sure you brought the right parcel? Because this seems like, oh, so this is the right parcel then. May I ask? Why exactly you brought me a well? Raw vegetables. I mean, I know it's salad, but the question is why it's a salad that you brought me. I mean, this thing looks completely raw, too. It's like they went to the garden and picked up the first thing they saw, which also happened to be grass and went. Yeah, that sure looks appetizing. 
Hmm. You got a meeting today? <laughs> but how does that have to do anything with... Oh, I get it now. Honey, how many times have I told you to not care about what anyone might think of you? Especially when it comes to food. I don't think you eating a pizza or a burger would get anyone offended in the meeting. Heck, if you ate two of them, I don't think anyone would care. You need to stop ordering these stupid vegetable salads and actually have some food that you want to eat. Unlike this stupid thing. I know it's not your fault. I know that you can get a bit self-conscious when it comes to eating food in front of other people. But I just don't like the fact that you keep thinking about what other people might think about you. And just keeping yourself from doing what you want to do. <laughs> Honey, why are you saying sorry? It's not your fault. It's just, you know what? Forget it. Just tell me this. Have you at least had something to eat tonight? You know, other than the salad that you didn't even finish. Oh my goodness, honey. You've been hungry this whole time. Why didn't you tell me? I've been just blabbering about stuff while you were starving. Okay, let me see if I can cook something up for you. In the minute, meantime... Here. I had left some brownies for the night. Have these. Well, I was gonna eat them after dinner, but you have them. I can always make more of these. No, no, it's gonna take a bit for me to cook something up for you. So having these brownies should give you some energy and take care of the hunger for at least a little while. Plus, I know how much you love these. You can have all you want. I'll be right back with some delicious food for you, sweetie. Honey, dinner's ready. Oh, I see you've changed your clothes. Did you have a shower as well? I see, hmm. and there I was wondering if you've already fallen asleep or not. I know you're very tired, so I was just kind of worried about you. Worried if you fell asleep without having dinner. Then I'd have to wake you up for dinner, which would be rather unpleasant for both of us, honestly. Okay, get up. Time to eat. You don't want to go to the table. Hmm. I guess we could have dinner on bed today. You've worked hard today and had a bit of a rough day altogether, so I'll allow it for today. You're welcome. Now, I would at least recommend you sit up, though. I'm not allowing you to eat while laying down now. No, I'm sorry, but as much as I like to spoil you, I do care about your well-being, so no food while laying on the bed. What's for dinner? Well, you don't ask. Today, we're having your favorite pasta. Okay, I know you're kind of bored of this pasta, but I did put a lot of effort into making it well in your terms not boring well we kind of ran out of anything else to eat because you did say i'm gonna have dinner outside tonight so i kind of put it together this pasta with whatever we had left in the house and since you don't really like eating this specific pasta turns out that's the only one we have left.
Honey, I promise you'll like it. I made sure to put a lot of cheese in it. And put the tomato sauce that you can't stop eating, apparently. Because I bought six of them last month. And we have one and a half bottles left. Honey, trust me, you're going to like it. I promise tomorrow, the first thing in the morning, we're going to go out. Have a bunch of delicious food for breakfast. And then grab some groceries. So I can make you some delicious dinner every night. So, please, have the food. <laughs> Love you. Here, have this towel on your lap. So your pajamas don't get stained by any food dropping on it. And here's the plate, the fork, and some tissues to wipe off any food stuff on your face. And then here's your delicious homemade pasta with extra cheese and tomato sauce. Enjoy. So, how do you like it? How did you like it? What do I think? Well, let me see. The entire bowl of pasta seems to be missing. Your plate looks like it's been licked clean and your face is covered with tomato sauce. So I would have to take the guess that maybe you liked it. Here, let me wipe that face of yours. I, I'm happy that you liked it, sweetie. You seem so much more happier with a full stomach. <laughs> you want desserts? <laughs> I don't think we have desserts left. But I can check that. What? You, you, you have desserts with you? What? Wait, you didn't eat the brownies? Uh, you wanted to share these with me. Honey, I told you, it's fine. You can have all. Okay, okay, I'll have some with you. <laughs> hey, I love you, you know. Oh, so you do know. <laughs> Say what, how about after we're done eating, we turn on the AC, bring out the big fluffy blanket we have, and keep cuddling each other. Till we both pass out. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Great. So I'll bring the blanket and you can finish off the rest of the brownies. Yes, sweetie. I love you too. <laughs>